everybody. <clears throat> this is Raquel Palmisi. Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. It's great to have you here with me. Great to feel you out there helping me set a container of energy for our work today. What a time we're living in, hey? So while we're coming on board, let's take a few breaths. Nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Move your body around a little bit. Let's get into the zone together. Let's be together and thank my dear goddess friend Carol for holding energy in Hawaii. People here from various places around the world to right next door to me. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you. We are living in a time of incredible uncertainty. I know this isn't news to anybody I'm talking to, but as you're breathing, feel into the uncertainty of these times. We have no idea what our lives, our communities, our schools, our workplaces, our world is going to look like uh, in the very near future. We can't even extend into the far future. There's so much we suddenly don't know. Are we ever going to be without COVID? Are we ever going to be without some mysterious virus unleashed from somewhere in our changing environment? Are we ever going to know much more than what it looks like right now? And even that, maybe we don't even know much about that. So breathe with me because there's a new level for us to go to today. It is coming in from spiritual realms to help us, to guide us, to navigate through this wild and crazy time of transition and transformation. So move it around, breathe deep, Breathe deep and then release it. Do it again. Take a deep, honest breath, a real one. If you're listening to this while you're driving, maybe pull over for a couple of minutes. Let's really be together. Let's give all our attention to this energy field that we're setting up. Hi, Tani. Hi, Marina. Hello, Oscar Gold. <laughs> Hi, Socorro. Oh, it's so good to see everybody. And Cindy. Hello. We are all good breathers. I know all of you. So let's breathe one more. Fill it up and hold it at the top. Fill it up and hold it. Maybe put your palms up to receive, feel all that is in you, all that is around you. And then let it go. Just let it go. Release it. Move your shoulders, moving energy, move your hips, head. I hope everybody just runs through some neat, some breaths like this at various times of your day because there's a lot to hold right now and if we start holding it and repressing it we're gonna get really angry we're gonna get really hopeless we're gonna get foggy about what the future might look like we won't be able to connect with each other or with ourselves We'll be scared. And when we're afraid, it makes us vulnerable. 
to those voices out there that tell us they have our answers. You know those voices. Oh, don't worry. This will all be over in a month. Just go about your business. There's a magic medicine coming up that's going to cure everything. Right? Yes. And we, when we are living in uncertainty, when we're afraid, we're vulnerable to those voices, often very patriarchal, that pat us on the head, tell us to just behave, go about our business, and we'll take care of everything for you, don't worry. We become vulnerable to that. And if we try to not be vulnerable to that, we can't deal with the uncertainty. We start getting messed up in our thinking and our minds. We will become vulnerable to various conspiracies or ideas coming in off the web. We have too much time on our hands if we're in lockdown, if we're not working. Uncertainty as I said in my note today, is spreading like smoke from these fires. Unbreathable, toxic, dangerous. Because we as humans are not very good at dealing with uncertainty. We seek answers. We want to know. And when we don't know, we can go on an endless loop of trying to find answers. We'll start seeking. And something that sounds good, that sounds right, we'll, sorry about my phone, we will latch onto it. We'll hold it, we'll spread it. And with all this kind of misinformation and all of this panicked thinking and denial, we become weaker and we don't seek solutions, real ones. So today, breathe with me. The breath is always the magic medicine. Honestly, take a deep breath and then let it go. Whew. Uncertainty is going to be around for a long time. It's supposed to be. And we are supposed to get used to living in it. The way to deal with uncertainty is to be okay without knowing, with not knowing. To be okay to face into life not knowing in advance what it's going to be like because when we don't know in advance what it's going to be like we're forced to live in our moments we're forced we're forced to be here inside ourselves we're forced to know our hearts we're forced to try to seek our own counsel our own counsel and to do that we have to be able to access our hearts we have to be able to access our beingness who we are as a being so as you're breathing with me breathe deep down into that being that is you Feel yourself, this self of you that has more wisdom packed into it than all the voices you might hear telling you how to think, how to figure everything out, what to do, what not to do. Feel the being of yourself. It's solid unlike the mind the being doesn't waver it knows 
because the being is connected to the eternal part of you that is connected to creation, to spirit. The true answers that you need, that you want, are in this zone, not coming from the noise machine. So if there is a huge lesson to be learned right now, it is to gain the wisdom, the trust, the knowing of self, the empowerment of heart, to be able to seek our own counsel. That information is not going to be coming through the fear that we feel. It is not going to be coming out of the noise machine from the outside or in our heads. We're surrounded by controversies, everything from the simple act of wearing a mask has been politicized. Everything is sown with fear. Be very afraid. Or stay with me right now. And let's take responsibility for our own knowingness as we drop an anchor into ourself, into our being. Let's take an inward journey right now. It's such a beautiful thing. As you breathe, you can access your heart. A lot of our hearts right now are shrouded in fear. How do I do this life right now? How do I handle this, my kids, my work? How, how do I maintain my sanity? How do I pay my rent? The heart is burdened with fear, anxiety, or simply uncertainty. We are deprived of many of our social activities. We are being asked in no uncertain terms to come into alignment with this one soul, this being that is us. This one soul that we came into this life to grow, to heal. So come with me, drop an anchor into your being. Feel your heart. And this might be a little difficult, but try it anyway. Allow your heart to open to the world as it is right now. You don't have to like it. This isn't about liking or not liking, but it is about living. It is about not turning away. Feel your heart open to all that there is now, to the way things are. The forest burning, the lands flooding in hurricanes, the COVID not letting up. We have so many challenges. We'll be voting soon in a very, very instrumental, maybe the most instrumental election of our lifetime, even my lifetime, which has gone on for quite a while. We have important things to look at, to be part of, to engage with. We have to be able to think with it, not against it. 
we have to be able to open our hearts to our own experience of what this is right now. Your family, your life, your processes, your fears, your emotional, mental, physical pain, anxiety. Opening your heart to allowing all of this to process means becoming bigger. It means wrapping your arms around the whole thing, not hiding from it, but embracing all that is calling you. Your children's online learning the navigation of going back to school, to work, to church, to whatever you're engaged in. Holding the energy, holding it, becoming a vessel of heart empowerment that is meant to heal all that is out of alignment in your own life, in your own attitudes. to do the work of unsticking that which is stuck, the looping thinking of fear. The empowered heart is calling us to embody more than what has seemed normal in the past. There is no normal to go back to. I keep saying that. We can try, but there is nothing back there for us. Everything is going to look different and it's supposed to. If we allow ourselves to drop in right now as a group and as all those that will tune in later, Feel yourself, the most powerful part of you is your own heart, is your ability to love. What makes it possible to come through this cataclysmic time into a new era? is all of us, or as many of us as possible, actually finding our heart empowerment. Because the love that is in our hearts is something we barely understand. It is this love that we're meant to feel right now as we're together. This love comes from the heart of our Creator, gifted to each one of us. It is connected to all things in creation, to intelligences that are waiting for us to tap into them to be clear enough and free enough in our hearts and trusting enough in ourselves as spirit beings and human beings to be able to extend into the greater intelligence. Our hearts are the vehicles of that. How much love are we willing to pour into the collective? It doesn't mean we like anything. We don't have to agree with it. It doesn't matter. But releasing love, that matters. Coming out of resentment, victimhood, and empowering ourselves to put true, unadulterated love into 
the collective, into the world, into all that exists along with us, seen and unseen. To speak from that place, to receive love as it comes to us and not shut it off. To share goodness. To not think that we have anyone else's answers. It is love, and only love, that gives us the bandwidth to actually listen, to actually hear what someone else is saying without having our own opinions or ideas get in the way. But to free ourselves to hold that person that community, that country, in an embrace. You can feel it in yourself. This is a natural endowment of every human being. Accessing it is another story, but if you're listening to this, if you're here with me, or you listen to this at some point, know that you have been guided here and understand the importance and urgency of this moment in time. Because I don't know when we'll have another shot at being so supported in releasing love common decency, understanding, and all those beautiful qualities that exist within the realm of love, in the zone of the heart. Feel it, please, with me now. What if you didn't hold back? What if you didn't hold back? If you open right now, you will actually feel all that I represent in spirit as a guide, all that I represent pouring energy and light energy and spiritual beingness and God's love. However you see that and experience that, pouring that into you. I can do that because my heart is open to you. I don't care about your politics. I don't care how scared you are, how opinionated you are, how defensive. I don't care How sad you might be feeling right now, how out of control, how not up to the task of meeting life right now. I understand it. I can feel it in so many of us. I'm empathic as so many of you are but rather than taking on your pain, I would rather release love from my heart and let you know that you can deal with it. You can. The resources are there for you. They are in your breath. Take a breath. Feel it all, feel your heart opening. Extend yourself and release the stiffness, release all that is trying to immobilize you. Uncertainty is something that is not our enemy. 
although if we're afraid of it, it is very toxic to us. The need to know has been a limitation in life for a very long time. And fear has run the show for a very long time as well. So what if we release the fear and decided that the uncertainty actually provides an opportunity to reassess, reevaluate, and reinvent the way we live, the way we learn, the way we socialize, the way we are to ourselves, our communities, each other. What if our answer to an uncertain future is to recreate it from our hearts rather than our fear. This is the call. This is what Mama Gaia, Mother Nature is asking of us. We have to reinvent the way we live. This is what all manner of spirit and unseen beings, energies are arriving here to help us with. They're waiting for us to tap into it, to be open, to face into uncertainty, not by looking backwards at a time that was more familiar and not trying to look too much forward either. But in the moment, to devote our lives to the opening of our hearts, to change that which no longer serves us, to really change it, to not be controlled, by the noise machine of fear and the big voices trying to control. Here, feel the energy coming in, my loves. Feel it. It's here. And all you have to do is open your arms and receive it. Let it guide you. Seek your own counsel from your heart. The greatest counselor you'll ever have. I love you. Trust now in the power of your heart and that greater heart of which it is part. <sighs> Have a great rest of your day. I love you and I'll see you next Wednesday. Mahalo. Shalom.